Okay guys, as I mentioned in the earlier video, with that uh, vibrator rebuilt and the uh, new lead dressings back over to the uh, power plug that I uh, installed here with some uh, grommets that you saw in the previous video. Check out my uh, B plus voltage here. It's uh, right in line with what I see on the schematic. So I've got this meter hooked up. We'll watch the uh, B plus and my analog meter that you can see right here. I'm sampling the uh, AVC voltage and you can see I'm on the DC scale 10 volts and as I adjust the amplitude of my uh, signal generator I'm just using a CW carrier so we don't have that nasty tone as such and I'll keep it relatively low the first steps looking at the uh, directions here for the alignment and again, I mentioned I've got the uh, generator set to 456 uh, kilocycles. I've got my dial just south of um, 600 kilohertz due to a local station. And I'll be adjusting uh, trimmers A, B, C, and D. So A, B, C, and D. So uh, let's do that real quick. And I'll uh, repeat that process, then we'll move along over to uh, step number two. I'll try to keep my uh, hands out of the way here. Oops, that was a little off, not much. You guys might be able to see the uh, movement here on the uh, analog meter. Okay, that was pretty close there. We'll go over to C. A little change there. and then D. A little change there. Alright, let me put my hand down here just so I can get a better grip on this and kind of tweak it. These IFs are uh, fairly tight. Alright, let's go back to uh, A and I'll repeat the uh, process here. Okay, I think I'll let that be. Let me uh, look at the directions here one more time. Make some uh, changes here to the uh, signal generator is uh, called out here for step number two. I'll be going over to the uh, antenna lead itself. And I need to uh, reset my oscillator here to uh, 1500. Let me do that. Then we'll adjust uh, trimmer number F which should be right here see this 
I've got my uh, signal generator, 1500 kilocycles, and uh, it says, of course, to hook the dial or move the dial back over to uh, 1500. So watch the uh, meter movement here. And I'm just uh, shy of uh, 1500, so uh, let me move this up. Okay, I know you guys can't see that, but I'm just positioning the dial here to 1500. Now we'll adjust this uh, pattern right here. Let me just make certain. That's what the uh, directions call out. And uh, you can see I've got my lead hooked up to the uh, antenna lead through a capacitor. Got the oscillator set to uh, 1500. Dial set to 1500. We'll adjust uh, F. which is that piece there that I soldered back on after getting the uh, tuning condenser cleaned. Okay, I'm going counterclockwise didn't do the trick. Let me go back clockwise here. Alright, here we go. Try to get my hands out of the way. By the way, I reset this particular uh, pattern to get the uh, capacitance that I had before I uh, started the alignment when I took it out and cleaned it real well. Alright, let me turn the uh, gain down on the uh, signal generator here. Turn that up. I may have went too far. I'll try this one more time here. A little touchy right there. Sorry, I'm going to have to get my hands right here in front of the uh, camera for a moment. What I'm doing is just rocking back and forth between the point where it peaks. Okay, now let me rock the dial here. Alright, let's stick my eyeballs down here and just see how close we are to uh, 1500 kilocycles. And uh, that's close enough for me. Let's move over to uh, step number three. Okay, step number three here, you can see, same setup here, 1500, we'll adjust uh, trimmer number G, which will be the uh, front side here on the uh, tuning condenser. Turn the gain down some. Okay, I think we've uh, got that one. And uh, next step here, number four, we'll go back down to uh, 600 kilocycles here. So uh, let me uh, make that change on the signal generator using my uh, frequency counter and then it says to uh, 
go to number J, which will be an oscillator adjustment right here. And uh, we'll rock the gain and adjust for maximum output at uh, 600 kilocycles. Okay, same exercise here. I've got my uh, signal generator set to 600 kilocycles. And you can see here as I rotate my dial back and forth how the amplitude of the signal changes. And it peaks about right there. Let's we'll see how close I am here to the dial setting. And I'm just a little north of uh, 600 uh, kilocycles. So the uh, oscillator adjustment is uh, right here. It's very, very close. Let me uh, reset the uh, dial here. And then we'll uh, make a tweak here on uh, number J here. Alright, and sorry about this. I'm going to have my hands right in front of the camera. Okay, let me uh, let it be there. Now I'm going to take the dial here and uh, move it around and uh, just peak the signal. And let me eyeball it again here to see how close I am to 600 kilocycles on the dial. And that's good enough for me. One last step here. We'll go back to uh, 1500 kilocycles on the oscillator itself, the generator that is, and then we'll set the dial to 1500. And uh, it's asking us to repeat F and G now since we uh, just messed around with that lower adjustment. I don't expect much of a change since we made very little change there on the uh, oscillator to impact the uh, low end. Uh, but we'll go through the exercise here. Starting with F, move to G, and uh, just make certain that uh, we're peaked out there. Let me uh, make the changes here. Okay, I'm approaching uh, 1500 kilocycles right now on the dial. Keep an eye on the meter. Let me turn the uh, gain down here a little bit on my uh, signal generator. Turn it down some more. And let me bump it up just a little bit. And I'm just rocking the uh, tuning condenser back and forth here. Alright, now let me look at the dial and see how close we are to uh, 1500 kilocycles. Alright, just from my uh, vantage point, looks like we're almost uh, right on it. So we'll start here with this adjustment again and just see if we can make any improvement whatsoever. Slight improvement there you can see. And we'll go down and hit uh, this adjustment here. Maybe a slight improvement. And uh, let me just rock the uh, tuning condenser back and forth here. Take a look at the dial. And that's good enough for me.
Alright folks, uh, that concludes the uh, RF alignment. Let me shut down the uh, signal generator, come back and we'll just kind of scan through some of the channels. Okay, here's one of the uh, local stations. It's coming in uh, really well. And you guys will notice for my antenna itself, it's uh, wrapping around this uh, tube. And uh, this is part of that um, antenna that I made. You can see there in the picture-in-picture uh, -picture that I'm showing, it's the uh, dipole or the ferrite um, antenna. Uh, two ferrites with the uh, loop as well. And uh, it ties back in here to uh, the uh, controller here. And uh, there'll be a video on that uh, hopefully soon. But I'm using that in lieu of a, a long wire antenna. Uh, this radio also needs or has to have a earth ground. And I don't have an earth ground, but I'm just using the uh, AC ground here. And that's what this black lead is. It's going up to an alligator clip. So uh, it's to reduce the uh, hash noise coming from the uh, synchronous vibrator here. As you can hear that thing humming around. Let me uh, turn this up. Let me disconnect the ground here and you'll hear what I'm talking about. So that just shows how important the ground is, a good earth ground to use this old uh, farm radio effectively with the uh, least amount of interference here from the, uh, from the hash uh, noise coming from the synchronous uh, vibrator. Folks, thanks for watching the uh, RF alignment here on the Xena 4B231 from around 1938 more to come on the cabinet here when uh, time and uh, weather permits. Until then, take care. Thanks again for watching.